It's your boy, Jimmy Blue, Mr. All Access Elite Boxing, reporting live from Dallas, Texas. I want to thank each and every one of our listeners today. Make sure to follow us on All Access Elite Boxing on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're getting your notifications and also leave us a comment. Follow us on All Access Elite Boxing on Facebook, All Access Elite Boxing on Instagram. And if you're on Twitter, make sure to tweet us at All Access Elite. All right, fight fans, let's talk some boxing. According to Steve Kim, senior writer of ESPN, Bob Arum stated that Vesali Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez will happen in the month of May of this year. Now, one of the uh, things that was holding the fight up was actually the, the actual site. Uh, earlier in December, after uh, Teofimo Lopez uh, won in, in dominating fashion against uh, Richard Comey, uh, Bob Arum had three locations in mind. One of them being the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, uh, New York, where Teofimo Lopez is from. Uh, Madison Square Garden, where they constantly put several fights in which they recently put a fight there uh, with the Comey as well as Terrence Crawford fight. Uh, and the third option was Saudi Arabia. Now, Saudi Arabia has become a major player in the boxing business as well as in the boxing world uh, hosting and staging uh, big championship fights. Uh, I know that they held the uh, World Boxing Super Series uh, Caleb Smith versus George Groves back in 2018 not to mention the heavyweight title rematch between Joshua and Andy Reese, where it was rumored that they paid over $40 million site fee to uh, the zone and matchroom boxing. So, with that being said, Bob Arum has been in business over 50 years. He's one of the greatest, if not the best, greatest promoter, boxing promoters of all time. Um, he knows how to conduct business, he knows how to do business, and he knows how to uh, let fights somewhat marinate in order to, you know, build up the buzz. You know, Lomachenko has been on a rampage he's been stopping everybody he's unstoppable the matrix everybody says you know he's a top three top two pound for pound fighter in the world uh one of the best angles best technicians you've ever seen and you know teofimo lopez has just recently won a title he's 22 23 years old um and a lot of people are saying that it's too fast that he's moving up uh too quickly but you know, everything that Teofimo has said, all the cockiness, all the, the confidence, uh, and some some could even argue the arrogance that he brings, he backs it up. I mean, the kid only has 14, uh, 13 fights, and he's already a world champion. Um, there's a lot of upside to him, but, you know, a lot of people also compare how quickly they're moving his career with Fernando Vargas. Fernando Vargas was, was young in the game when they put him up against the De La Hoyas of the world, the uh, Tito Trinidad's of the world. And, you know, it cost him dearly. Uh, you know, most recently, you got to look at guys like uh, Julian Williams, J-Rock, uh, Erickson Lubin. These guys were moved fast, and they all got knocked out. They, they weren't ready. Obviously, J-Rock ended up coming back and becoming uh, the unified champion at uh, the super welterweight division, but I mean, not a, I mean, every fighter's different. Every fighter, you know, their mindset is different. I know Teofimo had a little bit of issues going on uh, with his family, but he, he appears to have all of that in order. So hopefully, you know, this fight can be uh, a fight that people can talk about for a very long time. But Teofimo has nothing to lose and i'm gonna tell you why bob arum and top rank signed josh taylor today at 140 pounds josh taylor the wba the ibf champion they already bob arum already has jose ramirez the wbc wbo champion even after they make the unification bout regardless uh, of who win or loses could be a potential opponent for teofimo lopez when he moves up Teofimo Lopez has already had problems making weight at 135 pounds. So in my opinion, whether he wins or loses against Lomachenko, 
I think this will be his final fight at 135. He'll move up to 140 and wait for the Ryan Garcias, the Devin Haney's, the, um, you know, everybody, uh, the Tank Davises, everybody that will eventually move up from 135 uh, to 140. And if he were to make a fight with him and let's just say uh, Josh Taylor or possibly Jose Ramirez, you know, it'll be really, really big and it'll turn Teofimo Lopez into a superstar. Not to mention if Lopez beats Lomacheco, he's instantly becomes a superstar. And if he can move up to 140, fight a unification fight because Bob Arum basically purchased all the titles at 140. WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO. It's going to be, it's going to play in, in, in Bob Arum's favor as well as top ranks. Um, again, Saudi Arabia is a huge player to host this fight. I think that, in my opinion, if the fight does happen in Saudi Arabia, it'll at least, we'll know by that time that it's not going to be pay-per-view because a lot of the fights that are shown out there is going to be shown in the afternoon here in the States. So it, 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 it leaves us wondering, will it be on ESPN or will it be on ESPN Plus? Um, then again, if they fight in Madison Square Garden in New York, more than likely, there could be a, a possibility that it ends up on pay-per-view. Now, you know, some could argue that it's not a pay-per-view fight and that it should be, um, you know, shown on, on, on cable television. But, I mean, it's one of those things where Bob Arum's going to want to make his money back and where he will make his money guaranteed is in Saudi Arabia. Uh, another interesting fact with uh, the Middle East is that you know, after I believe it's um, the 23rd of May, Ramadan, the Muslim holy month that finishes on May 23rd, it would have to occur after that date uh, for, you know, religious purposes in Saudi Arabia. So if it's later down the month in May, it will not interfere uh, with the Cinco de Mayo uh, weekend for Canelo Alvarez. So it allows more eyes to be on the potential fight between uh, Teofimo and Loma, and it doesn't allow them to do bad business uh, going against the grain, so to speak, against Canelo and zone. So that'll be a very interesting matchup. Uh, again, we're only a couple of months away, but Bob Arum has guaranteed that both fighters will not take any other fights in between and that both fighters have signed and that these are this will be their next fight. Again, my question to you is, should this fight be in New York or should this fight be in Saudi Arabia? Again, it's your boy, Jimmy Blue, Mr. All Access Elite Boxing, signing off.